Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Imagine you are building a super mighty train and you're using your ruler to help add and subtract lengths as you build it. First, the train is six inches long. Then you add a car that is two inches long. Now you're gonna use your ruler to add six and two and oh no! Your dog runs in, grabs your ruler, and leaves. Oh, he must have thought it was a toy. What are you gonna do now? Guess what? We don't actually need to use the measuring tool for adding and subtracting. We can model the same thing using something called a number line. A number line is a straight line with numbers, in order and with the same space between each number. The space between each number can be counting by ones or skip counting. Basically, it's a ruler without any units. So let's make a number line together so you can see what this means. First, we draw a straight line. Then, mark the number you want to start at. Let's start at zero. Use your finger to make a space and then mark the number one. And now you can use your finger again to mark the number two. And since we use the width of our finger, we know the space between zero and one and one and two is the same space. And now we can keep doing this all the way up to 10. Ooh, good job. You've created a perfect number line. It has all the important parts, a straight line, numbers in order, and equal spaces between each number mark. Now, if we go back to our train problem, you can see how using a number line is just like solving it on a measuring tool. Now, here's the problem again. Your train is six inches long. So you find number six on your number line and mark it using a dot or an X. Now, you added a two inch car to your train. So, count up two spaces on the number line. One, two, and we've landed on eight just like we would have if we had used the ruler. Great job! Now we will continue using number lines for addition and subtraction in another video lesson. But first, I want to make sure you really understand number lines. Will and Jenny are outside drawing number lines in chalk on a driveway. Some of the number lines aren't correct though. Let's look at what they've drawn and figure out which ones are accurate number lines. Okay, as we look at each number line, we're going to check to see if the numbers are in order and the same amount of space is between each number on the line. So let's look at the red number line first. Well, this one looks pretty similar to the number line we made, but let's check just to be sure. Are the numbers in order? Yep, they count from zero to seven. Is there the same amount of space between each number? Yeah, it looks like the space is the same between each one. Great, the red number line is accurate. Now let's look at the purple number line. First, we're gonna check if the numbers are in order. Uh, it doesn't look that way. One, two, five, nine. Well, that's not counting in order or skip counting. So this is not an accurate number line. Ooh, green's my favorite color. Let's look at that one now. Are the numbers in order? Yes, they skip count by tens from zero to 100. Wow, this one was a little bit tricky. On a number line, you can count by ones or skip count by any number. Now, let's check the space between each mark on the number line. And it looks like the space is the same between each one. Awesome. The green number line is accurate. And here is the blue number line. Okay, this one looks pretty different already. It doesn't start at zero, but that's okay. A number line can start at any number as long as it follows the two rules. It has to be in order and it has to have even spaces. So let's check. Okay, the numbers count by ones from 17 to 25, and the space between each mark is the same, so this number line checks out. And last but not least, here is the pink number line. 
Okay, this one also doesn't start at zero, but we already know that's okay. And the numbers count by ones from five to 10, so that rule is followed. Oh, but these marks are definitely not evenly spaced. So this number line is not accurate because the space between the marks all have to be the same. That was quite a lot of work with number lines, but you nailed it. We learned that a ruler is just like a number line. And now we're able to draw number lines to help us add and subtract. You learned that a number line has two very important rules. The numbers must be in order and there must be the same space between each mark on the number line. We also saw lots of different kinds of number lines and learned that they can start at any number and you don't have to count by ones on them. You can skip count. Great work today. Number lines are going to be a great tool. See you soon.